In this video, we'll go through the ins and outs of the last scaffold option, the things to do scaffolds. These are some of the most commonly used and edited scaffolds in CQ. So let's get started. Unlike the other scaffolds we've talked about, properties, events, and restaurant, things to do is located under a folder called generic. You'll click on the generic folder. Like the other sections, it's organized by brand and then by property code. You'll click on the EN and CQ will display the list of already existing things to do scaffolds in the system. To create a new one, you'll go to New, select New Page, and this dialog box will appear. As in the case of the other sections, CQ intuitively knows that you're in the generic section and will display the scaffold template for things to do. You'll create a title, which will display in CQ, and a name, which will correspond to the page name, the URL page name. I'm not going to create a new one for this instance, I'm going to walk you through an already existing one so you can see the enter fields. But when you create a new one, you'll enter the title, the name, and you'll click create. Let's open an already existing one. It'll appear in another tab, and you'll see this main landing screen for all of the scaffold items. You'll click edit this item, and the dialog box will open with all the editable sections. The general tab contains a lot of core information that you need for your listing the name, the property, the market, the brand, the things to do category, which could be an attraction, golf, a local attraction, nightlife in the instance of Brooklyn Bowl, pool, promotion, a property feature that doesn't fall into a lot of other categories, salon, spa, shopping. So you'll select the relevant category. The learn more URL after you create a page can be entered there. You don't have to do that. It's not a required field and you can come back after you've created a page, which we will cover in another video. The short description, as mentioned before, goes to the list page, goes to the apps, powers a lot of different sections on the website. Try to keep it as succinct as possible. The main description, you can use HTML on this section, you can bold, you can italicize, you can put bullets, links, a lot of different things. This section will power the detail page, it's really important to remember that when you're editing this description, you're editing the detail page connected to the scaffold. In the display options tab, you'll be able to select the ranking of the scaffold you're entering. You can hide it from the list. You can feature it. You can mark it as coming soon, which will put a coming soon logo over the image. It will automatically be defaulted to true for the display web, mobile app, and directory. This means it will be on the websites, it will be on our mobile apps, and it will be on the interactive directories. If you don't want it to be on one of those channels, you will mark it to false. If you don't want it to be in the wayfinding portion of the app, you will click this checkbox. Base information is base information. Highlights, the latitude and longitude for the wayfinding portion of the app, the floor also for that portion of the app, the attachments list. In the case of Brooklyn Bowl, this attachment is an event calendar linking off to the main Brooklyn Bowl website. Another instance of attachments can be a menu. You can attach it. You can name the different things. So you can attach menus, tournaments, if it's a slot tournament or poker tournament, additional info. So you have a really flexible section here where you can add all sorts of attachments. If you wanted to add a new one, you would click here, edit it, and add all the new information. Third party is an important tab for our apps and interactive directories our mass relevant social stream if you have that information you would enter it here the tenant id if they're in engage you would enter it here if the listing you're creating has a video url you can put it here the facebook label if it's got its own facebook page none of these sections in third party are required if you don't have information for one of these just leave it blank generic scaffold details also contains a lot of core information for the listing you're creating the category once again, all the different categories that it could be, the attire, casual, the category options, which powers how it's ranked in the interactive directories. As you can see, Brooklyn Bowl falls under a lot of different categories. You don't create these on your own. You would click into it, move this sidekick so it's not in the way. You would click into it, open this tab, and add additional categories if there's a relevant category that needs to be listed. Additional information, if you don't have any, leave it blank. It's not a required field. 
Phone number is obviously very important. It goes to the fact section of the website. It goes on the mobile apps and also on the interactive directories. Inside the things to do scaffold, ours are connected to the generic scaffold details page instead of being on a separate tab. So you'll enter in the day, the times that it's open, cover price, admission price, regular price. All of these options are here, not required. So if you don't have those and they're not relevant to what you're talking about, you can leave them blank. Additional menus in this case is linking off to the Brooklyn Bowl main corporate site. If you wanted to add menus that are not on a corporate website, you can name it and you can select it from wherever you've uploaded it into the dam. If you've uploaded it into digital assets, you'll find where you've uploaded it to the dam already. Click OK and it will enter in there as well. It doesn't have to be linking off to another website. So those are the main content sections of the things to do generic scaffold. As with the other scaffolds, you'll click OK. I'm not going to click OK because I haven't changed anything, but you'll click OK. You'll open up the sidekick. If you have activate privileges, you would click activate page from the second tab. If you don't, you'll head over to the workflow tab, select the appropriate workflow, add in additional information to tell the content team what you've done, and then click start workflow to send it through the proper process. And that's it. If you need more information on how to submit through the workflow, you'll find it in the description below.